some actions against contest rules in judo. Uh, there's a whole lot of them actually, but here's a few. So one rule we have that's against the, the rules of judo is to have a one-sided grip for more than five seconds without attacking. So if I'm fighting Tillin and I get a, uh, either two hands on the one lapel and I stand here for five seconds without attacking, I'll get a shido or a penalty. So there's one rule against, there's one rule in judo. And this also occurs in, this is a one-sided grip, this is a one-sided grip because this is a one-sided grip. Any grip where there's two hands on one side of the body means you, if you don't attack, you'll get a penalty. Even this is still a one-sided grip if you don't attack. So if you hold the heat for five seconds without attacking, you'll get a penalty or a shido. Here and here and here. They're all going to give you a penalty. Another rule in judo is the belt grab. So if I'm fighting Tillin, he's got a really good belt, a really good top grip, and I'm defending by putting my hand on his hip, if I don't do anything for five seconds, I'll also receive a penalty. Because I'm just purely defending his hip by putting my hand on his belt, and I'm stopping him turning in, turn the hip to him, I'm stopping him turning in to attack me. There's another way you can get penalized in judo. Another penalty you can get in judo is if you hold the belt for more than five seconds without attacking. So say my favorite throw is Ogoshi, and I love having my arm around the waist, but if I just walk around with my partner with the belt grip and I don't attack, I will also receive a penalty. I must, as soon as I get a belt grip, I must attack. All right, I don't mind if they do a few attacks, but if I stand here walking around, not doing much, I'll get a penalty by holding the belt grip. If I'm fighting Tillin and he's trying to get a grip, and I keep breaking up and go try to get a grip, and I'm just defending, and I'm not actually trying to get a grip, I'll also get penalized. I must be able to initiate and get grips myself. So if you're fighting someone and he gets a grip, and I break it off, and he gets another grip, and I break it off, and he gets another grip, and I break it off, I'll get a penalty because I'm only defending. So there's another way you can get a penalty. When you're doing judo, another way you can get a penalty is actually by just stiff arming your opponent. So if Tillon's way stronger than me and I'm a little bit scared, I don't want to fight him, I'll stiff arm him. Even better, double the pearl stiff arms, and if you pull me in Tillon, he tries to pull me in with all his strength, but I can just hold him out with stiff arms, I'll get a penalty because it's defensive and I deserve to get a penalty. But what you can do, you can stiff arm a little bit and then move around. Stiff arm a little bit, you still may get penalized because you're stiff arming, but there's another way you can get a penalty. Another way you can get a penalty is even if I don't have a stiff arms, but if I fight like this. If I fight with my legs all the way back here, it's bad posture, I'll get penalized for having a bad posture. So it's important that you always have your head up and back straight. But if I'm fighting and I bend over like this, I will also get a penalty. If I'm fighting Tillin and he's way stronger than me and he gets a nice top grip and bends me over, if he holds me down and doesn't let me come up, he will also get a penalty because he's actually not attacking me. I'm trying to stand up and he's just holding me down because he's stronger, he will get a penalty as well. There's a few crucial things in judo that can get you a penalty and get you disqualified straight up. So after three shidos, the fourth one is a hansakamaki or a disqualification. But there's a few that, that if you do them, you'll get straight up to hansakamaki no matter what. And the first one is when, if I'm fighting Tillin and he goes for a left-handed uchimata, go for uchimata, and as he comes in, I try to throw him by hacking my leg in front of his leg here. If I do that, see I'm on the inside of his leg, that will get a disqualification straight away because I'm actually attacking the wrong way of his knee and he can get um, injured very quickly because I'm hyperextending his knee and he can't defend that. There's nothing he can do to stop me doing that. So if someone does uchimata on you, you're allowed to attack outside the leg, like here, that's fine, but you can't attack inside the leg there. See how I can push his knee back? Very, very dangerous and that's one way you can get a Hansokamaki straight up. Another way in judo you can get a Hansokamaki straight away, as in the first five seconds of the fight, if I come out and grab Tillon's leg, I'll get disqualified straight away. In judo, in IJF judo, uh, you're not allowed to grab below the belt with your hands, or block. So I can't even block his leg, I can't grab it. So if you do any of them, you'll get disqualified straight away. And yes, that includes like doing an old chigari into a leg grab. That's a disqualification. Cut a groomer, a cut a groomer attack is disqualification. Uh, any sort of Koichi Makakomi, Disqualification. So that's Tsurukomigoshi, disqualification because I'm grabbing the leg. Anything where I'm grabbing or blocking below his belt with my hands, 
is a disqualification. 